G'day, I'm Christopher. I've been doing a lot of these crimp connections lately. So these are sockets for headers. We've got a larger sort, we've got a smaller sort, uh, and I thought I might do a video on how to crimp them, how to crimp the terminals on using this tool. There is a lot of close-up photography in this video. I'm not sure how it's going to come out. So if you can't see things, look right at the end. I'm going to put some still close-up pictures of the, the different connections. Big ones I use for communications. So here's one plug here, one, one socket here. And then that'll go on to the next board and I'll use that for low power there because it's only communications. Uh, there's another style over here. This is a 2.54 millimeter spacing header. So it would go on to these, uh, but this little purpose built connector is designed to go on to these ones. And it has a little tab thing there, which makes it click in once you get it in the right place. Which just makes it a little bit more solid on there so it doesn't come off really very easily. With the small ones, these are two millimeter pitch headers. And this socket here is made for uh, surface mount uh, circuit boards. And this plug here fits in and snaps together. That's a really good connection there. That won't come out at all. And in fact, I find that I need to use a screwdriver. It's got a little tab there. Push the tab in, lever it out to get that one out. So that one's really quite nice. Uh, this one is very very small. The reason I'm using these little ones is because I've got these battery modules which I've got from some salvage batteries and they have sockets built into them. I want to communicate with this or, or measure the voltage which is what's on these pins and so I've found the right size plug to go into these sockets. So start with the larger version. The, the two versions are quite similar so they both uh, have these little pins and the pins once you attach the wires to them uh, slide into the socket there and sort of hold in there so you can't pull them back out again. So the first thing to do is to strip some wire. Now I'm using ribbon cable like this ribbon cable I've just pulled out some of the, the wires out there. It's actually reusing old cable that I don't need anymore. So the idea is that you need to split them, pull them apart, and then just take a little bit Strip a bit off the end. How much do you need? This pin here has two little crimpy bits. One crimpy bit is to crimp onto the insulation and one is to crimp onto the wire itself. So you need it long enough that it'll sit in that, that second piece there. So I think this is just long enough. So to crimp this on, we need a crimper. This is the crimper that I have here. It has these, these numbers here are a wire gauge, American wire gauge. Uh, and so the higher the number, the smaller the wire. Not actually sure what gauge this is, uh, but anyway, the it has a there we go. The the two bits here 
So this is the bit that crimps, and so see how this one's higher than that one? So this one doesn't crimp quite as tightly as this one. And what we use that for is with these, because one's on the insulation and one is on the, the wire, the insulation's bigger. So we want it around that way when we crimp it. If I did use my other hand. We want it around that way when we crimp it. So this one gets more crimping than this one. Now the way these work is you put them that way around. And the way that I remember is if you see those two little lines up the top there, that ends up on a successful crimp. So here's one that's being crimped and the wires come out, but you can see how the the two tabs get folded down in there. So to do it, we need to put our wire in like so. Now we don't want to get the insulation, uh, so what we don't want to do is get it up there. So then the the one the, the two tabs are both going on the insulation then if we do it up there so we need to do it down there so we've got only insulation under one tab and no insulation under the other tab and this can be very fiddly so what I've found is that if you Just use the, the crimper like this. If you just put it like that, just hold it there. Then you can thread this in from this end until it goes in and see where it is. So you sort of push it in through that hole, which is quite difficult to do on camera. So we're going in through there. We're peering on the other side. We can line up the insulation with where we want it. Crimp that down. Then it crimps the one tab onto the insulation. The other one isn't done yet onto the wire. But now, because it's because we've got grip on it, we can line it up properly. It's, it's quite difficult to line it up in there without doing that first. So what I want to do now is I can see that the one on that side is the one other one on the wire. So I want it around this way. So I've now done that nice and tight, whereas before I was fairly loose. So now I have a, a good connection, the one on the insulation, the one on the wire. Now once you've got this crimped, so it needs to go into this socket. You've got the little, little tail on the back there. That's designed to fit into that slot there so it pushes in there and when that goes right up it's it's the tab fits into that slot and, and you can't pull it back out again uh, so what we really want to do is to make the other one the same way around good solid crimp and hopefully they're both the same way around Pretty close. Ah, so good idea to give them a tug test, make sure they don't come off when you pull them. And slot these in. Yep, 
and if you're a nice click also pull on them there oh see if that one came out so it wasn't in far enough there yeah, i heard it go click now yep so now they're both clicked in there okay that's that one done so these smaller ones are similar i've got a four-way plug here and so yes you need to crimp the all four of them on and then insert them into the, the socket into the plug here's an empty one and so you can see remember before i had to push a tab to get it out that's that side and the other side is where the little um, things hook in little hooks hook in so that they don't pull out again which means I need to make sure that when I crimp them on I crimp all four of them the right way around because twisting these wires to get them around the right way is is not desirable uh, you'll have less strain on the whole assembly if these are all the same length and not twisted you can see I've got this one it's been a little bit long ideally they're all the same it's difficult to get all the same with four of them though so I'm doing this on ribbon cable the the particular assembly I'm making um, has a one of these connectors which is a um, an IDC one a insulation displacement um, connector and, and so that just crimps onto there they're really easy those ones but, and then on the other side, it's got two of the little ones. So this particular one, I need all four of them to be lined up the same way. These are even smaller than the other ones. It's going to be interesting trying to do it on camera. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. And what I do with these is I'll do all four on the insulation first and then go back and crimp them all again. Now I've done these just on the camera. I normally do them on the magnifier. So I'll just get the magnifier out and check to see that these all look okay. This is the magnifier that I use. There's a nice little light in it. Okay, so when I inspected them, I found that one of them, the wire wasn't all the way into the tab. And then when I looked at it too hard, it fell off as well. So. Let's do that one again under the magnifier where I can see a bit better. So now what I need to do is to go back and crimp these, the second tab on these. So I've crimped the first tab, now I need to crimp the second tab. And the way that I do that, so I've got to figure out which way around this is. So the left one there is the lower one which means it doesn't crimp quite as tight the right one is the the tighter one and so i need to put them in that way around so that the the tab with the that's crimping on the wire is done with the the one that does it a bit tighter Just 
Do them nice and tight. Then under the magnifier, I'll inspect these. I'll give them all a bit of a tug test. Oh, that one came off. Okay, so what we've got here is this one has come off and taken the wire with it, which means if I strip this one, it's going to be a little bit shorter. There's, um, it might be better if I cut them all off and do them again Okay, off camera I tried to strip that one again and it didn't work and it got shorter and shorter so I decided to do them all again. So I've just done them all again. Uh, here we're looking at them through the magnifier. Hopefully you can see them there. And so what we're looking for is no insulation in the second crimp uh, and I pulled on them and they didn't come off. So now we're going to put them into the connector. Is the connector so these are all lined up this way little tabs fit into that little slot if you've done it well then you can just sort of line them all up and push them all in at once uh, I haven't done it that well uh, but I'm getting there we go so that's one started see that one's gone all the way through you can see the the bit of metal at the end that means it's pushed through far enough if I pull on that one now, it won't come out. Next one hasn't quite gone in that far yet. I'll try and get the other two lined up. There we go, they're going in. Okay, so I think they're right. I'll just give each one a tag individually. I'm not sure about that. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that one. Second last one didn't quite go in properly. Pushed it back in. Now, now it doesn't pull out. Good. That one and that one. Good. So there they all are. A completed connector. Okay, so this crimper I got from Rockby Electronics. Uh, there are extremely expensive ones out there. I don't know how good they are. This is quite cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but I'm assure, assuming it wasn't over $50 anyway. These, uh, for the small ones, the sockets, the pins, and the plugs, uh, I got all of those from Farnell or um, Element 14. I'll put the the part numbers in the in the description of the video. And for the larger ones, they were all got from uh, purchased from Rockby Electronics as well. This wire stripper is an extremely simple wire stripper. Again, very very cheap. Um, got it off somebody on eBay. You can set it with this screw here to to be the the um, the width that you want to strip off the wire, or you just do it like I do and just do it by feel. I hope that was useful for you. I'm just going to end the video here with some close-up photos in case it wasn't very clear in the video. This photo here is the uh, the larger crimp terminals here and so I've got one there where you've got a, a good crimp on the brown one and a, a crimp only on the insulation for the red one and yeah part numbers for all the different parts that I've talked about